Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Great Scott. I'm Scotty V, and uh, you, you right there. Thanks for watching. So, uh, out of Comic Con, we've heard some very exciting news over the last week or so. There was a uh, new poster with new artwork released, and there was new trailer. Finally, we've seen some footage, and uh, probably as expected, many of us are still complaining about how bad this movie is going to be, and many of us, like myself, are still very, very excited and uh, very happy with some of what I've seen, some of what I've read, and have high hopes that this movie could be very, very good. Now, here's the problem with, uh, with, with Superman, at least what it seems like. It seems like uh, many of the public, many of the people in America have uh, voted with their cash, have voted with their um, apparent interest, interest in other heroes and other things. That, that, that this new movie needs to win back people. It doesn't have to win back me, because I'm going to see a Superman movie anyway. Uh, I love Superman, I love other superheroes, I've said it many, many times. I see just about every superhero movie, though I did not see Catwoman. I've seen bits and pieces of it when it's been on television. Uh, it's kind of like watching a bug, you know, you, you look at it. And like, wow. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of steel, uh, things like that, that uh, after seeing some footage, um, uh, <laughs> hearing the way Shaq acts, uh, seeing the way um, Haley Berry is dressed, uh, although she looked great, um, uh, you make a decision and, and you decide not to see it and then... Uh, you know, you, you realize that it's winning Razzies, which is the equivalent of a of an Oscar for bad things, as opposed to winning an Oscar because you're great. You win a Razzie because you're terrible. But it's you know, uh, but other than that, I mean, a movie that 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 they really put some effort into. You know, Blade's not 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 a uh, not a super budgeted movie. It's also not a uh, at the time wasn't a highly well known superhero, but. I was very interested in seeing it, and I do that. So for me, uh, even if I wasn't a giant Superman fan, I'd be looking forward to this. And a lot of it seems like with Superman more than any other hero, y you have two very polarized sides. You, you have people who are uh, fans, or you have people who, who, who hate Superman and think he's too goody goody, or or um, uh, dresses weird, or um, whatever, um, but you know, some of those people will be excited by the trailer because uh, I read a little bit. I, I skimmed through. It's funny, um, you know, Steve, uh, who, 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 Steve, who runs the website, released the latest edition of the Big Blue Report, and said in there, it's, it's funny how we as comic fans can't wait to get our hands on some information, and, and sometimes, even though we don't want to be spoiled and we want to see the trailer in the theater with you know, with all the sound and all the accoutrement and the audience and see what the response is. We oftentimes can't help ourselves when there's something released online. We have to look, even if it's grainy cell phone pics from 20 miles away. Uh, same with the pictures we've seen of Cavill, other than the one officially released photo. Uh, there's a poster now, I have it as my desktop wallpaper, of, uh, of, of Cavill in shadow, kind of silhouetted, but you can see he's in the uniform and I've already heard complaints. What? Uh, Superman wears chainmail? Uh, uh, <laughs> if you've read, his style is designed uh, after the heritage of his home planet where it has a neo-medieval um, uh, background as its, as its style, as its, as its history, as its, you know, we haven't seen how it's going to go yet, but uh, yes, it's armored looking because uh, he designed it after his uh, home planet uniforms, which makes sense to me that it comes from somewhere. Uh, and it's not just a random, you know, oh, well, I'm going to, you know. Uh, and and uh, the yellow appears to be missing in the poster. I'm looking at it right now. Um, uh, but I think it's just did dark because we've seen the uh, picture of him in front of the vault, the one that was released by the studio, and there is yellow in the S symbol. 
So we'll see how it goes. Uh, something else that I read that some people will be happy with. Uh, apparently, Clark Kent in the uh, in the uh, in this, this trailer takes off a pair of glasses, crushes them, and says, "My weak Earth father wore something like this. I would never stoop so low." And throws the glasses away. So you know we've got a lot to look forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait. Um, I've decided I'm going to see The Dark Knight Rises in theaters because I want to see the trailer on the big screen. Uh, I'd like to see it fairly early because I'm hoping that some of the same audience that would see a uh, Batman or a superhero film will be looking forward to seeing uh, Man of Steel as well. I have my little Brandon Ralph Monopoly here. Uh, because I remember when the trailer was released for Superman Returns, how excited I was. Uh, I heard reports that uh, there was a Harry Potter trailer running at the same time, and people told me, people cheered when the Harry Potter came on, and it was like crickets when the Kent mailbox appeared on screen, and apparently only I knew what it was. Uh, and then when the John Williams music started to play, I guess more people recognized it, but it didn't seem to garner the response that... Uh, you know, some other trailers, you know, you know, we, we've got, uh, Harry Potter's a tough act to follow, it was a rabid fan base, it was giant, Superman had been gone for a while, uh, but I'm really hoping that uh, this one gets people excited again and we can see Superman back in his former glory. Thanks everybody for watching, uh, and uh, remember, always look up in the sky.